The overall goal of this procedure is to evaluate nanomaterial release in the case of abrasion of nanocomposite materials. This method can help answer key questions in the occupation hygiene field, such as risk assessment and workplace environment. The main advantage of this technique is that it allows one to evaluate nanomaterial release in the case of abrasion of nanocomposite materials. For this experiment, use an abrasor with a 140 mm diameter specimen rotation stage, which can rotate 30 to 80 rotations per minute, and two abrasion wheel holders. Install a disc-shaped specimen on the specimen rotation stage. Use a weight to secure the abrasion wheels that are wrapped with 100 grit sandpaper to the abrasion wheel holder, which also applies load to the test specimen. Use stainless steel for the chamber walls to avoid particle deposition due to electrostatic force. Locate the air inlet and outlet in the upper and lower part of the chamber, respectively. Place the abrasor inside of the chamber, and install an additional air inlet in the abrasor that is 15 mm above and 40 mm away from the center of the test specimen to provide better suspension for the abrased particles. Next. Locate the neutralizer 28 cm away from the center of the test specimen at a 45 degree angle to reduce the electrostatic particle deposition on the chamber walls. Install a CPC and OPC at the outlet of the chamber to measure the particle number concentration and particle size distribution, respectively. Operate the blower installed at the outlet of the chamber at a flow rate of 50 liters per minute.